Some members of Congress concerned tonight that more veterans could go hungry because of changes being made to the food stamp program. Our News Channel 8 DC Bureau reporter Jesse Tenure tells us about the grilling the USDA took on Capitol Hill. Before that new rule takes effect April 1st, a House committee questioned the agency if it made the right choice. Not having enough food to eat is very real for too many Americans and for too many of our veterans. More than a million low-income veterans depend on the SNAP program to feed their families. Members of Congress, like California Congressman Mike Levin, worry many of them could soon lose their food stamps. This committee is concerned that decisions are being made regarding these resources without thoroughly considering the impact on veterans. A new U.S. Department of Agriculture rule will force states to tighten SNAP work requirements, which means fewer people, including veterans, will qualify. We don't have specific data sets on veterans. Pam Miller with USDA says about 3% of SNAP recipients are veterans, but because veteran status isn't part of the application, there's no easy way to know who they are. That's something that concerns lawmakers. So veterans have no significant uh, additional importance to you, uh, given their service to our nation. Uh, where even a phone call to VA was warranted? Um, we certainly want to make sure we're serving all low-income Americans, including veterans. Um, our but that's, programs... that's a no. You never contacted VA. We did not. Lawmakers like Florida Congressman Gus Bilirakis also made the argument that hunger leads to other health issues, particularly a growing epidemic facing veterans, suicide. Food insecurity can be a contributing factor that could be detrimental to a person's mental health. That's why VA officials say they want to identify more veterans at risk for hunger and connect them with resources like SNAP. Congress has to approve any changes to the SNAP application. A provision in the 2018 Farm Bill would have added a veteran status, but it was ultimately removed. In Washington, Jesse Tenor, 8 on your side.